I'll give you a little example of infinite love. And infinite love is the answer, and it's how to um, love your enemy. <laughs> and this is, this is the same game everywhere. We hate our enemies. We hate the elites. We hate uh, those people that are doing harm to our planet. And hate is just a perpetual of the same game being played out all the time. So to give you a, a little example of how infinite love has helped me, um, I'll show you a little example of what I went through. There is one company, it's a million dollar company, it's called Global Training Center. I'll post a link so you know who they are. And um, this company is where my husband used to work. Now this is a safety company. They do a lot of safety in the oil field. On their website, they also put the statement that they are giving a voice to those people who don't have a voice. And what this company did was they forged a lot of documents. They, um, like I was going through friggin' hell and a lot of abuse. My husband was doing everything he could to cause enough stress and a lot, a lot of hardship that it was next to impossible to work. He was constantly taking me to court. I, you cannot keep a job if you're constantly in court. They kind of want you at work. And it takes years and years and years to be able to battle even just one court case. It took me four years to show up to one court case and a hell of a lot of stress. And, a hell, and this guy was, you know, had court orders that said my children who lived with me actually live with him. And, you know, he was actually collect, had orders to collect child support. And uh, I had a universe that was telling me, you got to fight this, you got to fight this. And while I'm saying that they, uh, there were always other options for me, but it was in my zero point, my, you know, where I am right now, I could have taken a million different paths, but I chose to take a path that had more influence on me, which was all of society, um, every aspect that I ran into said I needed to fight this, that this was the only way to stop the abuse that was going on. So it took me four years. I'm going completely nuts, um, stressed to the max. I had, uh, my ex-husband was um, driving up and down in front of my house, was questioning my kids why I kept my curtains closed. Then he would, he went to court with this million dollar company financially supporting him um, and had a restraining order against me. And I'm like, okay, you've stressed me out to the max. You've encouraged the kids to be very angry at me by promising them a lot of shit and then not giving them to them saying that I was preventing it in some way. I mean, you caused as much conflict in my house. I can't feed my kids. My kids are all hungry. Um, stress trying to find work. Nobody wants to hire you when you're that stressed in the first place. And then I'm going to show up in court and look calm and peaceful to, to say I'm not the one that's harassing you, but you're the one that's showing up at my door all the time? No, I didn't go there because he was acting a little scary. And as long as I had one court order that said he can't come near me, I felt safer. So history will prove that, you know, I, I had a restraining order against me, and yet it wasn't true. I just didn't feel that if I went into court being as stressed as I was, I wouldn't be able to communicate effectively. Plus, I had a whole pile of other court cases that were on the go that need a lot more of my attention. And um, when I had gone to court, um, I had proved most of uh, the lies that he was telling. He was saying that he was poor, living in poverty. And, you know, meanwhile, he had a $300,000 house that I had the land title to, which this million dollar company said, oops, that, that house was put in his name by mistake and it's not actually his, you know, and, and they actually paid all of his attorney fees. So I'm up against a, a, a legal aid attorney that's not even reading my freaking file and not even representing me, not telling the, the judges the truth at anything. And 
you know, I'm going friggin' nuts. Kind of lost my mind. Now, there are many different directions. Again, that I just, you know, one direction was is just, you know, if you needed, you know, my money that I was making to, you know, collect child support, I could have just let that be, you know, and just paid him. And, you know, then if the stress didn't involve me, I had gone back to school. I did take programming. Um, eventually I would have earned enough money to feed my own children. And if the dumbass wanted my money as well, then I could have been at one with that and just not let it affect me. Um, or I could have gone to court and somehow been a lot calmer and presented myself well. I could have believed in myself and spoke to the judge and said, this lawyer is not representing me at all and she's not letting you have any information that you need to hear. Um, but I was told that I couldn't speak, you know, I doubted myself and I looked really, really stressful and they perceived me to be the bad guy. And yet, you know, when you're abusing somebody, you're going to stress them out to the total max. You know, when they talk, they may talk louder because nobody's listening. So it may appear that you're, you know, yelling you know, and have an anger management problem. Or, I mean, you don't come across as calmly and peaceful as you need to be in front of a judge if you're dealing with this level of abuse. But that was one option that I could have done. And if I knew better, if I knew how to be calm, if I had the tools of how not to let this affect me as much as it did, then the whole outcome of everything that I went through would have been completely different. Now, on um, this company that I posted that financed and did all of this abuse towards me. I mean, yeah, it was my ex-husband, but this million dollar company is the one that's responsible. Um, you have to find a way of loving your enemy because that's the only way you're going to be calm. And I'm really, really grateful for that experience, for everything they did, because now I know how the game is played. And if I didn't have that experience, I wouldn't have seen what I seen. I wouldn't have been able to share any of the information I have. I wouldn't know how to walk forward in my life if I didn't have that problem and learn how to overcome that problem. So I, I actually have a lot of love in my heart for this company that I'm posting their name for, but at the same time, we have to take responsibility that what we put out into the world is what we attract. And um, this company obviously wants me to talk about them because I'm motivated to talk about them. It's part of my story. You know, if they wanted me to tell a different story, they would have put something more positive out there. So they may be making the mistake of thinking I am their enemy and I'm trying to do something harmful to them, you know, and, and that is on them to decide whether I am their enemy or not, but I'm not. But I can see what they're doing and how they earn their living is wrong. And there's a lot of things that are wrong with these people that are earning a lot of money. And in order to shift out of that, they've got to find a different way of earning their living. They've got to stop doing what is wrong for society and actually put something good in it. Now, will they end up paying me? I doubt it. But while we make this transformation and while I say companies like that cannot be earning a profit with the mentality that they have in the businesses that they have that destroy you know, our, our societies, destroy our way of living, destroy our environments. After all, if they're talking about training people and giving people a voice that needed, how many people at BP Oil actually had a voice? Their industry doesn't do shit. It doesn't give a voice to anybody up above in the corporate world above them. They are only being fooled to believe that their, their company is actually safe. But there's nothing safe about any safety company now. They can get around it as much as possible. It's a good idea, 
but they're not very effective in what they're doing because they're not solving the problem up above them. So, you know, again, they may perceive me to be an enemy, but I'm not. I love them. I love everything they're doing. I just think they need to change. Peace and love.